I'm super excited that you guys are joining me today. Thank you so much. I am here with Omoon. He is the author of The Insights and Wisdom of Omoon. And today's topic is on commitment. We're here to share with you today the power of commitment and how it can change your life. So please help me welcome Omoon. Good morning. It's good to be here. Beautiful day and life is good. I have a conversation every week with my mom. And I love the conversation. One of the conversations that we had early on was one of setting boundaries. And we both agreed that since we're both really busy people, that we wanted to talk to each other every week. But, and here's the caveat, we both allow the other person to do other things while we're on the phone. I'm either out walking in the neighborhood or I'm cleaning my house. It's us living our own lives, but having a conversation at the same time. We need to design our commitments around these flexible situations and deal with people in a way that meets our needs, not just their needs. In order to make good commitment, we need to be mature. You expect everyone to mature as they grow up, but a lot of people are emotionally immature or they may be socially immature. They're not socially responsible. They haven't really developed that quality. We need to look at ourselves introspectively to see whether or not we are mature. In other words, how emotionally am I handling these commitments? If I overcommit and I fall short, what does that do to me internally? Do I get frustrated? Do I get discouraged? Do I stop in my commitment because I feel like I can't successfully do things? We need to look at ourselves in such a way that encourages us to include in our self-improvement program maturing emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually. If we are mature spiritually, we're going to approach everything differently. If we can handle our emotions, we're going to approach things differently. And we're not going to be upset easily. We're going to look at situations very objectively. We need to look at all of the different areas of life, not only for ourselves, but the people that we live around. If they are immature in certain ways, it would help be helpful if we could encourage them or enlighten them in some way to mature. And there are many ways to do that. We can look for ways to interact with people that would encourage their maturation, but we also need to look at ourselves. If I have a setback or if things didn't turn out like I expected in my commitment, how do I respond to that emotionally? Does that encourage me to work harder? Or does that discourage me and make me want to stop and go back to my old habits? And I know our time is about up, so let me just close with this series of thoughts. Write down your commitments so that you can be accountable. Share your commitments with others so that you have a support system around you. Use the technology available to you, like calendars or a way to track things. Visualize yourself being successful. Track your progress, reflect on your values, and celebrate all of your achievements when you do faithfully commit to something and follow through. Practice mindfulness, living in the present moment. Life should be enjoyable and pleasurable, and you should be satisfied with your life. And if you're not for any reason, identify that, set a goal, and be committed to that goal and improve your life. Thank you. Thank you so much. For those of you that are joining us, these are the insights and wisdom of O Moon. And you can join us every Saturday morning as we unpack the next in the series. So if you haven't already, get your copy today and we will see you same time, same place next week.